Hello everyone, today I'll be doing a filling of arched nails and a Halloween design. If you are interested, please join me and consider subscribing. And welcome to Dasha Nail Arts channel, let's get started. I already gotten rid of my previous design that you will see in one of my next videos. There also was an extension of arch coffin shape. This was my first time doing a coffin shape on my nails, and I liked it a lot. This shape lengthens fingers and doesn't look bulky. And also it's convenient that the lower parallels in this shape are raised up and that downwards growing nails are not so noticeable and don't irritate me. As always, I'm starting by preparing my nail plate and infill. Push back the cuticle, loosen the natural nail and smooth the transition to the artificial material. I remove pterygium and clean the sinuses and side walls. Next, I will dehydrate my natural nails, apply non-acid primer and thin layer of base gel. Cure for 30 seconds. I check how much I should raise the tip. First, I'm applying clear hard gel only on the middle of the free edge to raise the tip. I haven't lifted the upper parallel completely yet because I need some space to fit the design between the hard gel layers. I apply a thin layer of gel and create smudges using black and different tints of red gel polishes. Cure for 30 seconds. With the next layer of hard gel, I carefully raise the tip up as needed to get a straight line from the apex to the end of the free edge. Cure for 60 seconds. Lastly, I infill the cuticle and apex area. for 60 seconds. Using a carbide bit, I lightly file the upper parallel and file off the excess product from the sides.
With a 100 grit nail file, I'm drawing out the side parallels with a narrowing to the tip. Then I flatten the top and join upper parallel and the sides together creating a cylindrical shape. With a compass I compare the length and cut off the excess. Next, I will smooth the cuticle. For coffin shape, I file the lower parallels at an angle, raising it up to the end. Then using an e-file, I file off the thickness of material to create an arch. With a thinner bit, I smooth a nail tip underneath and file off my natural nail going forward and then in reverse. I'm comparing the heights of the arch and then filing lower parallels and the end of the free edge again. Finishing up my manicure, leave the cuticle one more time with the flame bead. Cut it with nippers. Smooth the cut using a diamond bead. From the inside, I seal the remaining piece of natural nail with the top coat. Cure for 30 seconds. This is how the nails look after a refill. Write in the comments what do you think about this shape and do you like it. I apply a thin layer of gel base and I will restore my design as I partly filed it while I shaped them. I fill the gaps. With a black color, I fill the rest of nail space. for 30 seconds. With the second layer of black, I align the color and paint it closer to the cuticle.
secure for 30 seconds. For the design I will use sliders. Don't forget to peel off the protective film before soaking a slider, or it will get stuck on the film and it will be unusable. For soaking I put slider on a piece of wet paper towel. Meanwhile I apply a layer of base gel and on the wet base I put a slider. Gently smooth it with a stick. Cure for 30 seconds. Seal with the base coat one more time. Remove the sticky layer. I will mark the edges of the slider by using a piece of ordinary cosmetic sponge. Lightly deepen in black gel paint that doesn't have a sticky layer. So as not to stain the skin, I glue the tape around the nail. I apply paint around the slider in two thin layers and dry each layer for 30 seconds. Next I drill several holes with a diamond bead to thread a chain through them. This process is not fast, it is important to control the pressure, otherwise you can break off the edge of the nail when the bead suddenly passes through the nail and falls deeper. The holes are ready. I am applying a top coat with light leveling. Cure for 30 seconds. First, I apply poly gel to the nail and attach the end of the chain to it. Cure for 30 seconds. Then I attach a metal hand in the same way and cure for 60 seconds.
thread the chain through the holes drilled in the nail. From the inside I seal it with poly gel and a top coat. Cure for 30 seconds. Next I place all the big and heavy decoration on poly gel and cure it for 60 seconds. I already put some cut pieces of chain on a metal ring and I'm placing it on the poly gel as well. Cure for 60 seconds. I place all diamonds, beads and metal turns on hard gel. Cure for 60 seconds. Apply top gel between the stones. Cure for 30 seconds. Nails with sliders I seal with a matte top coat.
one hand is ready for Halloween. Also, for me, this design is more associated with rocker, biker, or even gothic themes. What do you associate this design with? Leave your opinion in the comments. By the time this video was released, I had already been using this design for 3 weeks, and I can confidently say that it doesn't go unnoticeable even among men. And of course the chains dangling from the nails attach the most attention. In the next video you will see the ring I made for these nails. I will also show the design of the right hand that I made in a slightly different style and another ring. So if you are interested, subscribe so you don't miss it. And of course put a thumbs up and click the bell. Also subscribe to my Instagram page where you can find a lot of interesting nail designs. And that's it for today. Thank you for watching, have a nice day. And here was me, Dasha Nail Arts. See you in the next video.